introduced Joby Systems RE7500 soldering station using the infrared soldering principle. It is a bestseller on the soldering technologies market. The station was manufactured in China out of German components according to German technology. The quality is compared to that of ERSA analogs. It even has some advantages. Due to its quality price ratio, the station is one of the most interesting on the market. Short technical specifications of the station. The bottom heater power is 600 watt. The upper heater infrared gun power is 300 watt. Maximum size of the PCB that may be repaired using the station is 350 by 450 mm. Now we are going to have a closer look at the station design and controls. Let's switch on the station. It goes through self-testing process. If the processor said that everything is ok, we enter the solder mode. All the heating element modes are displayed on the screen. The first line tells us that the upper heater is off now. The lower heater is in fast reflow mode. We will get back to that later. The station itself is in park mode. Now we turn off the heating elements to prevent the board from overheating. Both heaters are now off. Temperature sensor shows 32 degrees. Controls. Four main functional buttons. These buttons are in charge of selecting the mode of upper heater operation and changing the modes of lower heater operation. We switch the off mode to preheat mode. This mode is characterized by the temperature up to 400 degrees that is reached during 3 minutes. The next one is the reflow mode. The temperature rises from the room 1 to 500 degrees during 4 minutes. And the next mode is fast reflow, that's a fast soldering mode. Temperature reaches 750 degrees in 5 minutes. Two operating components are located on the stand of the device. The first one is a laser pointer and a cooling device. And the second one is the infrared gun. When the infrared gun is in side position and the laser pointer is above the PCB, we may center the PCB or choose the soldering modes. Only in this mode we will be able to choose either the profile mode, which is one of the three, or fulfill the system adjustment. In the system settings we may set the alarm set point, the point at which the temperature near the soldering component is considered critical, and the soldering station will activate the sound beeper indicating the over limit. We may also choose the sleep mode time. Here it is set to 5 minutes, that means that the station will enter the sleep mode after 5 minutes of standstill. The temperature units may be chosen as well, there are degrees Celsius and Fahrenheit. The station is equipped with a vacuum pickup tool, its operation is provided by the built-in compressor. It is activated with the help of a button and allows picking up the PCB after the soldering. PCB support stand is convenient and fixes the PCB securely. The supports easily slide along the guiding base. There is a fixation screw that allows moving the supports separately. And after choosing the size and fixing PCB and the screw the supports may be moved jointly again. In parking mode, there is a possibility to choose from the previously set profiles, which are created either by the soldering station user with the help of special software provided with the station, 
where we may set the temperature dependence for a separate PCB. Or we may download these dependencies from the manufacturer website. Three profiles are installed by default. Profile 1, Profile 2 and Lead-Free Soldering Profile. All of their parameters are defined in the user manual. Now we are going to demonstrate how the soldering process in this mode is carried out. The station is set to parking mode. The laser pointer is about the PCB component being desoldered. The infrared gun is directed sideways. We re-enter the mode, press OK and the station offers us either to cancel or to continue. We press OK again and the preheating process starts. After preheating, the station offers us to rotate the operating units. And after we do that, the upper heating process starts. When the heating process is completed, we can see that the solder is melted and using the vacuum pick and pump, we may remove the microchip from the PCB.